Hello everyone. This is Taria from Hidden Truth Tarot. And this is going to be for the sun, moon, and rising sign of Cancer. Cancer, this is your monthly general reading for June 2019. I'm using the Tarot of Dreams to pull a major theme for your energy this month. And you have the star. So, very nice. I'm also using the Madame Andorra Spirit. We have the Harlequin. True feelings are masked. All right. I'm also using the Psychic Tarot. We have Solitude coming out here. And I will be pulling one from the Energy Oracle. And Cancer, I will be doing your tarot reading this month with the Gilded Tarot. And I will be pulling several Life Purpose cards at the end of your reading. Angel of Strength coming out here. I'm just going to go ahead and tell you right now what I'm getting already from your energies, Cancer. There is a lot of healing that's taking place uh, with you this month. But let me go ahead and get your cards shuffled and laid out and we will go over them. Which healing is a beautiful thing, right? When we allow ourselves to heal, it opens up. Uh, our heart chakras and it allows abundance and blessings to be bestowed upon us all right spirit what does cancer need to know june 2019 cancer sun moon and rising sign spirit what does cancer need to know sun moon and rising and we are ready you guys all right cancer situation of the month we have the knight of pentacles coming out here crossing you is the knight of rods in your foundation we have the page of cups in your recent past we have the five of cups All right crowning you is the page of swords Your new circumstance is the Five of Rods. What you need to know, we have strength coming out here again. Your environment is the Knight of Swords. Your universal advice is the Four of Pentacles. Beautiful. And we have your outcome energy as the Ace of Swords. All right. Let me take a quick look here, Cancer. All right. Let's go ahead. Let's start with your major energy and oracles for this uh, month of June, Cancer. We have the star card coming out here. This is the energy of Aquarius. Like I said, this is you trusting in spirit to allow a healing to take place um, in your life right now. Some of you may be doing meditation in order to uh, listen to your spiritual downloads or getting guidance from your angels or spirit. And this is gaining intellectual wisdom as well by doing so. And I feel like once you allow this healing to take place in your life, all you have to do is turn around and see the stars behind you, Cancer. And you can, it's almost like that. what Spirit's telling me, you'll be able to pluck whatever it is that you're wanting to go after. This could be a wish, a dream, um something you desire it's not that far off it's something as long as you turn around you can just reach for it it's like reaching for the stars 
and you can have that it's a blessing and look at that beautiful light down there so a beautiful energy right here now we do have the harlequin true feelings are masked and i feel like cancer with this coming out here i feel like this is you cancer i feel like you are you know maybe going to work or you know you're putting on a different face for people you may be around on a day-to-day -day basis and it's really not showing what it is that you're going through at this time I feel like some of you are being challenged right now with the uh, inner battle or inner struggle because of all of the the healing that's going on and it's taking place in your life especially with solitude coming out here this is like going into hermit mode right here and this is you gaining in spiritual enlightenment from this uh, as well you guys to figure out which direction that it is that you're wanting to to head in this is you gaining inner peace within and having patience with yourself all right so th this time of healing is very important for you cancer because you have beautiful blessings that await you and you know with the angel of strength coming out here and what you need to know position as well you have the strength card so you you have the inner strength and the inner uh wisdom i feel like to be able to conquer and be victorious and be able to um learn and gain something from this healing process i feel like you're going to walk away with something learned a knowledge it may be a hard truth uh, but it may be something that needs to be done i the i don't have a heavy feeling right now but i do have the feeling that there's just there may be a little bit of anxiety for you guys but you're persevering you're you're moving forward i feel like you know that star is behind you that dream whatever that is to you it's going to be different for everyone and that's what you want so you're ultimately working on you know healing yourself and being able to persevere through this uh these energies and this healing process and you feel that this is something that must be done in order for you to turn around and grab a hold of that star that dream and the angel of strength wants you to know that spirit is with you your angels are with you your ascended masters are with you everybody has your back during this time um if some of you are masking your true feelings it could be possible that uh, maybe that mask needs to come off if you're having issues with someone that causes you pain or hurt uh speak your true intentions uh cancer uh you know a lot of people don't want to hear the truth but if they're hurting you then that is a truth that it needs to be said all right it needs to be um uh, addressed okay because nobody deserves to be hurt uh at all all right so you speak your mind and you speak your truths cancer now let's take a look at the situation of the month cancer we have the knight of pentacles coming up here this is taurus virgo capricorn energy i i love this knight he's very hard working responsible persistent realistic whatever this knight sets off to do he gets it done um, unlike maybe the other nights where they may get impatient or they have an aha mo moment and they stop what they're doing and rush off to do something else. With the Knight of Pentacles, this is you moving slowly and steadily towards your angle. And this could be something that is financially uh, manifesting in your life that you're working hard towards as well. So a very dependable energy right here. Making sure all your T's are crossed and I's are dotted. You're going to make sure the job gets done. So very hardworking energy. Now we have the Knight of Rods coming in here. And this is your crossing energy. This can either be a positive uh, for you or maybe a challenge. Now the Knight of Rods is Aries, Leo, Sag Sagittarius energy. Now... This is taking a risk, being very daring, uh, but having the passion and desire uh, 
uh, to go after something that it is that you truly want. Now, this could be positive for some of you and this could be a challenge for some of you because the thing to keep in mind about this energy is not to get too impatient and, you know, just take off on something that, you know, that you, you want to really do, but you... I feel like it's very important that you think it through, okay? Because what you're doing right now is you are getting the job done correctly. So don't get sidetracked and let that passion and desire, you know, uh, you know, mess anything up good that you've got going for you, okay? Now, for some of you, this could be a, a positive for you. You could have this passion and desire um, going after something, maybe taking a positive risk. Listen to your intuition, you guys, and go from there. Now we have the Page of Cups coming in here in the Foundation Cancer. This is Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy. So this is you definitely listening to your intuition. Being very sensitive to that psychic energy that's flowing through you. Cancer, you are a very uh, intuitive sign. Uh, so I feel like you guys are going to be paying close attention to your dreams, synchronicity, symbolism this month. And I feel like sensitivity as far as empaths go, you're going to be feeling everyone's emotions and that could be hard for you. But I feel like it's very important that you ground yourself uh, during this time. So this is what's driving you. You're listening to your intuition. So some of you may be taking a positive risk. All right? Um, and some, uh, some of you may be listening to your intuition and slowing down as well. And not, try not to be too impatient with this uh, Knight of Pentacles energy. Now, we have the Five of Cups coming in here in your recent past, Cancer. And oftentimes, this is an energy of crying over spilled milk. Um, this can be loss, disappointment, regret, confusion. And this is in your recent past. I have a feeling this has to do with whatever this healing that is taking place in your situation. It's still... It's in your recent past, but it's still showing up in your energy. So that, that emotion is still there. That energy is still there. But what's needed right now is to turn around and see these two opportunities that are behind you. You have two cups standing there, and both of them are full. Uh, it's kind of like you're refusing to look past what's already been spilled or you know, turned over right there. But all you have to do is turn around and see that you have two opportunities, two blessings that are waiting for you. And I feel like that could be two stars, could be those opportunities that once you turn around, after you allow this healing process to take place, you're going to grab a hold of those dreams or those wishes. Now we have the Page of Swords coming in here as your crowning energy. This is what's on your mind. This is what you're thinking about. This is Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius energy. Now, the Page of Swords is ready for action, all right? This is an energy of using logic and reason. He's holding that sword of truth there, ready to cut away any situation or any person that's not serving his best interest. He's speaking his truths. Um... He does not wear his heart on his uh, sleeve either. And he doesn't spare anyone's emotions, uh, you know, in what he's, whatever this truth is. But it's a truth, so it must be spoken, it must be said. So I, I really get the feeling that there's many of you cancers need to speak a truth to someone. You need to uh, drop that mask and let someone know what it is that they're doing negative to you or what you know speaking some type of truth for others of you this is gaining knowledge as well i feel like studying working hard with whatever this knight of pentacles is to move you forward now we have come to the five of rods and this is your new circumstance now with this being in your new circumstance position the five of rods can oftentimes represent maybe a minor setback, like a flight getting canceled, or maybe 
uh, an appointment getting canceled, but it, I feel like it's something that was destined. It happens for a reason. For others of you, this is, you know, maybe healthy competition at work. Uh, this could also represent disagreements. And it's okay to disagree, all right? So, Cancer, you have to do what's best for you. It doesn't matter if everyone else is on the same page with you or not. Um, you cannot live your life doing what everybody else wants you to do or what everybody else thinks is right. You have to do what's best and what's right for you, okay? And I feel like that's a very significant and important message for you this month. All right, because you have to do what's best for you. Now, again, we come in here in what you need to know. And this is what you need to know about the current situation of the month. So we have the strength card. This is the energy of Leo coming through here. Like I said, the Knight of Pentacles. This is very hardworking, dependable energy. You need to have the strength to be able to continue on and move forward with what it is that you're working on, all right? This is having, you know, inner wisdom, inner strength. I, I love this energy because this shows you have courage. And this also shows you have the self-confidence to make things happen, Cancer. This says right here, you can make a dream come true. Now, we have the star here. And to me, this is like the wish card. What did I tell you? Once you allow a healing to take place in your life, you can turn around and you can reach for the stars. This is telling you, and this is what you need to know. You can do this, but you have to have that self-confidence and listen to your intuition. I really feel like you guys are. I feel like you're going through a major turning point uh, in your life this month, Cancer. Now we come to your environment, and we have the Knight of Swords. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. So, again, this, this is a knight that is very self-assured. He has that self-confidence. He's very frank. He speaks his truth. Very knowledgeable. Um, this can also be an impatient type energy as well. This can be a powerful intention that you're setting, uh, possibly in your environment. All right? Uh, this could be you going after security and stability, I feel like, with the cards that are surrounding you as well. I feel like you're not being emotionally driven this month in June, Cancer. I feel like you're using a lot of uh, logic and reason and listening to your gut instinct and your intuition to move you forward. This could be someone in your environment that could be kind of uh, tactless. He you know, this is kind of the energy of somebody being rude, maybe, or saying things that are not very friendly. Um, if it's not, I feel like this is you taking control of your situation and your home and your life. All right. I feel like this determined type energy is here with you in this month of June. Now, this is the universal advice, Cancer. We have the four of pentacles coming up here. The universe wants you to know security and stability is coming for you, all right? Something built on a strong and firm foundation. This power and control that you want over your life, the security, like I said, it, it's here for you. The universe wants you to know do not give up. Allow this healing to take place, and you're going to be able to have this in your life, all right, Cancer? Now... We come to the Ace of Swords. This is your outcome energy, and here it is. You have your truth there. There's the Sword of Truth with the Ace of Swords. This is clarity. This is justice coming into your life. This is you having a new beginning and knowing what it is that you truly want and what you truly desire. You're no longer looking at what's been spilt or lost. You're turning and you're taking these two uh, blessings here. You're reaching for the stars. And you're, you have clarity in which direction you want to go. And you're moving forward. So very positive, uh, you guys. A very positive new beginning that you're uh, fixing to embark on here. Now, let me go ahead and let me pull a few life purpose cards for you, Cancer. 
All right. Thank you, Spirit. There we go. There's that justice and clarity. Your career brings fairness and protection to others who need your help. So some of you may be a beacon for others. You may uh, help children. Um, you could help people maybe in the legal or court systems. It's going to be different for everyone. I feel like in general, Cancer, you are a help to others, whatever it is you do. Now we have let go. Walk away from this situation in order to resolve it. And that could be why this hermit mode is coming in here as well. And the feelings, true feelings are masked. There could be a time where you need to go into hermit mode and gain a different perspective on a person or a situation before you come back to the table with a fresh you know, set of eyes, a fresh way of looking at a situation as well. All right, so let's pull one more. We have strength again. My goodness, Cancer. We have strength, strength, and strength. Everything you've experienced in your life has made you strong and courageous. Beautiful, Cancer, and that is true. I love you guys. I send you all my love, wishes, and blessings, Cancer. Please leave me a comment. Let me know how these energies um, are playing out in your situation. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye, Cancer.